Hey everybody, it's Callum and welcome back to more Let's Play Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. In the last episode, we defeated, or defeated, we completed the first six levels of episode three of Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. And you may see that I have 91 lives. Yeah, I've, um, I've been grinding a few lives. Anyway, starting right off here. We have this level, not my favorite by any means, Ugh. and I'm pretty sure the point of this is to find a hidden golden mushroom, which it just seems to be the thing with Toadette, you know? Just finding hidden mushrooms. Quick little thing you can do, you can kill that conch door um, fairly quickly, and it won't be a bother to you anymore. Uh, just stand on this until it rotates around and you can fall in. And then do the same to fall out. Fall down here. And raise all the conch doors. But that just means that we can go up here, uh, get the conch doors to destroy each of these bricks, and get a super gem out of it, which is very, very nice. Just fall down here, and then we can finally get up this ladder. Uh, now, if I remember correctly... Um, trying to think of what I actually need to do here. So, of course I'm going to need to... Mm, crap. No! Ah, uh, dang it. Hold up. If I go this way... Aha, I can get the golden mushroom. Oh, but now I can't... Mm. Don't worry, I'll go back and get the third super gem. But yes, the secret objective was to get the hidden golden mushroom. And another coins galore mission. Dude. Well, now I think we can, um... I think now we can explore the double cherry. The double cherry mission for this book. Yeah, we haven't done this yet. This is super fun, though. You get to run around with the toads get as many coins as you can okay 351 not bad and we are so close to the 99 life goal quite proud of myself even though I've been using the amiibo to kind of cheat a little bit uh, anyway before we go into up and down desert we're gonna get the last super gem in KG Conk door caper Okay, so to get this super gem, you just need to stand on this side. Get that before the conk door kills you. Well, at least now I can just complete the level. And there we go. Right, now we go to up and down desert. Here I go. Starting things off, you can see that this is pretty much the same thing we've already experienced with that other level, which I cannot remember the, the, the name of it for the life of me. And yeah, that's right. And it even has the same kind of objective. Finish it by only pressing the switches a couple of times. Which is fun. I guess. Okay, so we can press this and then press this one. Get that. I, mm, I have this somewhat weird feeling that this is like a four touch level. It's probably more than four.
Oh, of course I needed to throw it. Ugh. Well, I have to come back and do the secret objective anyway, so I might as well just, you know, get that super gem while I'm at it. Anyway, on to Minecart Ruins Rumble. Another level which I need to be looking at the gamepad. But, I've got the gamepad in front of my face, so I can still see where, like, I can still, you know, kind of see what I'm doing, and I'm pretty sure... Oh, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure this is a Defeat All Mud Troopers level. <laughs> no, it can't be. It can't be that, because... No, I don't think that's it. Or is it like a don't kill anything level? Because those exist sometimes. I haven't missed any... Oh wait, no. I can get all the mud troopers from here. Uh, I thought I could anyway. Man, if it's defeat all mud troopers, then I'll get them second time around, I guess, maybe. Alright. You know what? I don't think it is. I just have that suspicion that it's not a kill all mud troopers level. No, I don't think it is. Right, so let's just get this super gem that's in here. Oh, come on, no. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Alright, there we go, finally. Get those coins. Oh, hello. Oh no, it's get the secret one up. That's the point of the level. Right, but where, where? There it is. Did I get it? Yes, I got it. Nice. It's annoying because I'm pretty sure you guys can't see what I'm. Like, you guys genuinely can't see what I'm doing half the time. Ooh. And finally, we got the life, we got the final super gem, and now, we fall! And it's very annoying, because I know the amount of coins down here at the bottom are not enough to take me to the 99th life. One can only dream though. But, during that whole time, another Mummy Me maze appeared. I don't know, you guys have seen this already, but, yeah. This time we get 60 seconds. And there's more than one Mummy Me. And there we go, the 99th life. That was fun. That's literally the only reason I wanted to do this Mummy Me stage, because I would then get the 99th life and would then feel ultimately more proud of myself. Even though most of them were gone illegitimately through... Well, not illegitimately, but... Without skill via the amiibo. And I don't know why I'm even continuing, because... <laughs> there's no more lives I can get. So... There we go. Oh, but I lost a life in the pr Wait, no I didn't. I didn't lose a life for that, I don't think. Haha, -ha, 99 lives. 
And if I am as confident as I normally am, I will not be even losing any of those. And Toad is grumpy. Well, it's as grumpy as ever, I guess. Um, I gotta go to episode or level 12, right? Oh well. Multivator Mayhem. Um, I forgot about this level completely. I don't even know what I do. Oh no, I know this. I know this level. And if I'm correct, the objective is to finish with five toads? I don't know. Could be wrong. I don't think I am, though. But it's why I would like to... Ooh, potentially complete... Or get rid of every obstacle before getting... My other toad friends. You can hold down B when you um, use the super pickaxe, and it won't drain any faster, and it makes you go quicker. So, I would I would um, recommend uh, holding down B when you're using the super pickaxe. I don't think it runs down any quicker anyway. Not that I'm not that I'm aware of. Okay, come over here. No, you wanna throw that. And the only reason I'm getting rid of the flapters is because they become very annoying. Especially when I have to deal with multiple toads at the same time. So, this one, this shy guy we can just kill. And we're gonna take this turnip. Oh wait, no, never mind. Can't take the turnip. Crud. And ultimately, we can beat the level without using a single toad. Which, or without getting a single extra toad, is what I should have said. Um, going down here first. Just get these pluck patches full of coins. Even though they're not entirely necessary to us at this point in time, because, you know, 99 lives. Uh, we come down here with three toads. Ooh, there's a pluck patch with a mushroom here. How cool. Didn't even know that was a thing. Right. So now... Now we actually do what the level wants us to do and collect the double cherries. Oh, they all turn their headlamps off at the same time. That's so cute. Trust me to find cuteness in something like that. Anyway, let's just fall down here, and I'm glad we can't fall off the edge here because I would probably lose many, many, many toads from just falling off the edge. Alright, we now have four toads. Yeah, four. Which means we can now ride this, this elevator, or multivator as I guess it's called. I don't know. We can ride that up to get a super gem and to kill a shy guy. We can also just drop a little toad down himself. Maybe two. Maybe three. You know what? Screw it. The fifth one. We'll drop him down as well. Oh my god. That, that scared the crap out of me. Holy crap. I thought, like, all of my toads were going to land in that purple goop. Come on, guys. Get on the... There we go. All five of them are on this platform. Uh... Not being 
being funny or like you know overhyping it, but that act or like over dramatizing everything that actually legitimately scared me a little bit. But of course, we forgot the sec uh, the, the last sorry the last super gem, which I have no idea where it is. <laughs> I assume, like, I assume, actually, no, 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 I know where it is, I know where it is, exactly. So let's take a second toad with us. Okay, we almost got killed. Why well, say killed? We almost lost one of our toads. Oh, that only takes us to here. And where's the last super gem? Where is the last super gem? What? Dude, this is like real bizarre because I don't know where the hell it is. Hang on, maybe it's one of these patches, no? Wasn't one of those plug patches. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. Idioto. I am an idioto. It's probably not even Spanish for idiot, but yeah. What do you know? No! Oh, says the shy guy, but... We don't need you! I'm just such an idiot because it's clear that the super gem is right here. Okay, now we're on to flip panel footpath. Oh, dear lord. Let's just say, this is one level which is really relaxing, but also... Oh wait, no, never mind. I'm thinking of something completely different. Um, there's basically a, in the bonus book, there is a mummy me level on this level. And it gets increasingly more annoying as, like, the more you do it. And I had to do it a lot, so. Okay. Alright. So I need to just flip both of these when they're ready. And go. And with that, I can get this super gem. Go full here. Go up in here. Get all these coins, which I didn't even know existed until the Mummy Me level. And now all we do is take this path. All very simple. But I'm pretty sure now that I'm doing this level again. Pretty sure there is some kind of coin objective or golden mushroom or something. I just cannot remember for the life of me where it is, if it is a golden mushroom. Which just makes me hope and pray that I didn't miss it, and I really hope that it's just like get 50 coins or something because. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it was to collect 45 coins, which, even so, means I'm good. And now on to the final level of today's episode, Rock Block Badlands. Oh god, no. Yep. I remember this, and I'm pretty sure this is a level where you have to only use the cannons eight times. And there's a lot of bricks to break, so... Yeah. Right, 
let's just lower... Oh, wait, 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 no, let's not lower it. Because there's a secret in one of the... No? Huh. I could have sworn there was a secret in it. Just, like, hidden in the lower part. Hmm. Oh, they can't walk past the spin wheel, so I'll just keep them there until they get killed by the bullet bills. Right. So I'm only allowed to use eight cannon fires, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure none of them are where I am, so I'm just gonna spam. And I'll do it at the end. Killing everything in sight. Right, now. Completely forgot. Do that. Go up here. Get that super gem, some coins. Jump down because those are torpedo teds. No, they're not torpedo teds. They're just homing bills. Torpedo teds are underwater because that's where torpedoes are. Come on. There we go. But yeah, so... This level isn't hard, but to get the secret objective, you only need to um, use the crap. You only need to use the cannon eight times. I am pretty sure. Ha! There we go. That's all three super gems and golden mushroom. Knew it. It looked a bit too inconspicuous to not be a golden mushroom. Right, lower that, get the star, and... Oh, oh they're puck patches. I was like, what are they? But that is about it. I will do... Oh, it's ten shots or fewer. Okay, I'll do that off-screen, and I'll see you all in the next episode. See you guys next time. Goodbye.